brought to you by VideoMaker Plus. To understand contrast ratio or lighting ratio, you need to pay attention to the way your favorite TV shows and films are lit. In most cases, the elements of lighting disappear into the background. Unless you're truly paying attention or have a trained eye, you might not notice the nuance of lighting. But the lighting is an integral part of the story and helps affect the emotions you feel as a viewer. A contrast ratio is a comparison of key and fill light. The key is the most intense light in your scene from which shadows fall, and the fill is the light used to fill in those shadowed areas. So the contrast ratio is the difference in the bright areas to the shadowed areas. Contrast ratio is important as it helps tell the story by developing a mood, be it dramatic or lighthearted. We're talking ratios here. So the first number refers to the key and the second, the fill. For example, a low contrast ratio like one to one or two to one is most common for TV sitcoms where subjects should be evenly lit, given a feeling of openness and enlightenment. On the other hand, a high contrast ratio like four to one or more creates more shadowy areas that give the scene more drama and a sense of foreboding. High contrast ratios are best used in film noir or thriller type films where dark shadows add to the sense of mystery and suspense. The main advantage in using and documenting a contrast ratio across shots is that it allows you to maintain the same intensity in the brightest and darkest areas of the face to keep the shot consistent throughout the project. To measure the contrast ratio, you'll need a light meter. The process starts with you measuring the main source of light or the key light. Get a reading from the brightest area on the face of your subject. Then measure the area lit by the secondary light or fill light. To make sense of what you have just measured, you'll have to understand that information you have just gathered is in f-stops, a measure of light. With each additional f-stop, for example, going one stop from f1.4 to f2.8, you create a doubling of light. The reverse is also true, moving one stop from f8 to f5.6 results in a halving of light. Let's say you've grabbed a measurement from your key light of f8. Then you measured your fill light. You got a reading of F4. This will lead you to a contrast ratio of four to one because there are two stops between F4 and F8 and each stop doubles the amount of light. In other words, two stops times twice the light per stop equals four times as much light at F8 than at F4. If a contrast ratio is established on a project, the cinematographer and gaffer crew can better work ahead of the director and the talent during downtimes to set up scenes ahead of schedule, knowing what the lighting setup will be. To recap, contrast ratio is the difference in the bright and the dark areas of a scene cast from the key light compared to the fill light. To measure this ratio, one will use a light meter and the ratio will be calculated in f-stops. Each stop moving up or down the range will create a doubling or halving of light. In the end, the ratio will be expressed in a set of numbers or ratio like eight to one, four to one, or two to one. This process of measuring the light can help create consistency in shot to shot throughout a project, as well as help make the crew set up more fluid during downtime. Ultimately, using the right contrast ratio helps you add to the drama or lighten the mood as needed in the script. Thanks for watching. Continued learning and practice, as well as taking refreshers on the basics, will help keep your skills sharp. Check out our video courses to stay on top of your game. Find a course by visiting videomaker.com courses or click the link in the description.